I'm sorry, it's my job. Bad timing, I know. Why don't you just come home? No, no, wait, look. You're my home. And it doesn't matter where I am. I love you back. It's okay, I guess. I mean, if you're in the paradise and all, you know. Oh! oh. <laughs> ah, you want to play, huh? Right. Right. Robin? Oh, nice to finally meet you. Oh, my gosh. Cynthia, this is my husband. Joe, Robin's told me a lot about you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Our goal is to have the most energy-efficient resort in this part of the world. As you know, this island rests in close proximity to uh, the volcanic corridor. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, we've constructed our own geothermal plant, allowing us to use heat for power. Impressive security. Yes! 24-hour armed guards in the security towers, top of the line surveying. We're actually having our opening party here tomorrow night. Where are you going in? Come here. <laughs> I mean, I know you see exotic spots like this all the time, but this is pretty decent for us civilian folk. Sierra, you copy? Service. Hmm. You know, I haven't seen you like this since... Well, since ever. Last one was bad, huh? Yeah, it's just one of those sideways. Anything you could have done? I don't know. I just got a closer look than I usually get. You want to talk about it? Just thinking about a change. Wow. Not to put ideas in your head, but... You know I'm proud of you. Whether you're saving the world or sweeping a floor. You know, I knew there was some good reason I married you. You have very low expectations. <laughs> it's so nice to see someone's having a good time. I was just waiting for you to arrive. Darren Connor, this is my husband. Joe Linwood. Soldier, right? Actually, he's a Marine. Hmm, right. Can I talk with you? I am getting 20 phone calls an hour from some Kusang representative. I have a reporter from some local rag up my ass for an interview who I do not want to get. And some Greenpeace lawyer trying to hit me with injunctions. So could you just please do your job now, thank you? Absolutely. On my way. Pleasure. You need to replace the champagne. Yes, sir, the kitchen I would not give to my dog. And you thought your job was dangerous, huh? Uh, I like it, really. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I can. 
like a surprise for you. Yes, I have them for you. Okay. Kid doing fishing on the beach. May I suggest an electrical fence for these? The resort, they said you could be booked for a snorkeling tour. We're not exactly up and running yet. Do tell. <laughs> oh, come on, please. A favor for your fellow Yankees. Oh, hell. If you're gonna hit me in that soft spot of mine, I guess so. But just so you know, one Yankee to another. I'm gonna overcharge you. Oh, well, thanks for the heads up. Can you talk? Uh, not if you can get away with it. Uh. Trophy husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your choice. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Simon Pendleton. Pendleton. Yeah. Hollywood monkey, huh? Porsche Recon. You? Just a uh, regular SF Ranger. Boston. Engineer, I blew shit up. Powder monkey, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Once upon a time, yeah? Joe. Joe? Church. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, come on. Let's get you all geared up. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, is, uh, does this mean you're not going to overcharge me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow, good choice. Sharks love yellow. That's great, baby. <laughs> He's joking. until your fancy resort showed up. Mm. Gets better. The other end of that beach, there's a cave. Leads you right back to your resort. Just make sure you head west, okay? They teach you that in the uh, Marine Corps, don't they? Difference between east and west? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Go get him, honey. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Day you got bored.
I know who I married, Joe. And I couldn't be happy. Yeah, right. This goes back to the resort. Yeah, wow. That's east. We gotta go west. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Powder Monkey. Well, Church was right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanna go back? Go on. I have a party to organize. But that reporter was milking around again, only this time he was pestering Mr. Chavalt about his opinion on the Greenpeace legal action against me. Need I remind you that Mr. Chavalt is one of our major shareholders? So that is just not acceptable. My apologies, Mr. Connor. I'll get right on it. Oh, please. Now that the damage is done. <laughs> Joe. Oh, great. G.I. Joe's here. What, you got an opinion? I'm just gonna kick my ass. <laughs> no, sir. See, unlike some, I don't pick on women half my size. Oh. And G.I. is armed, moron. I'm a Marine. Okay, Joe, it's fine. No, Robin, hey, it's hey, not it's fine. fine. Joe, please. It's fine. Number one, I'm sorry about that. It will not happen again. Number two, the reason you're having trouble with the reporter is because you constantly ignore my recommendation and just give them 20 minutes. I'm not 20 minutes talk of your time. With any reporter you answer the questions you want, and when he brings up the injunctions, you smile sweetly and say it's all being worked out. It can only help you look better and not like a rich American outsider with something to hide. However, first things first, you have an opening speech to give. Good evening, friends, colleagues, and investors. I would like to introduce you to our host, the chairman of Connor Industries, Mr. Darren Connor. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you honor me by being the first official guests of our magnificent new experience. Welcome to the Tanjala Beach Resort, where you will never have to ask yourself, why shouldn't I have it all? You know, before I created Tanjala, there was nothing here. Well, nothing but a wasted opportunity. This fabulous island was flawed by inefficiency, archaic thinking, and a subsequent lack of employment for the local population. But I have changed all that. Water, fire, earth, air. They are... Hey, Marie! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy ass powder monkey. <laughs> All right. hey, man. How many jobs you got anyway? I've been on the moon, lad. <laughs> Gonna have a good show tonight. Hey, look at this. Get a kick out of this. Pop flare. I threw it up at the end for old times' sake. Ah, uh, military's nightlife. Nobody else gets it, but I don't give a shit. Hmm. What's going on? You and the little woman having a thing? Uh, her boss was being an asshole, and somehow I'm the bad guy. Uh, well, don't take it personal, all right? You gotta remember, she's on her own most of the time. Can't be waiting around for your sorry ass to show up and be all macho for her, right? <laughs> yeah. Look, brother, I'm not the kind of guy to be giving a lot of advice. If I were you, I'd polish off those knee pads, head back up there, and tell her how sorry I was. A couple young things like you, I can guarantee you the makeup sex would be well worth it. <laughs> that how you did it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, look at me now, right? King of the world, ma. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Mm. Go on. Beat it. I'm about to light this place up. Solar energy from the sun. Hydroelectric from the ocean. Geothermal from the earth. 
and the harnessing of wind. On behalf of Connor Industries, I thank you and wish you a very enjoyable vacation. Here's to it! Hicks wouldn't know a thermodynamic converter from a hot fart. All they care is it says, please recycle on it. Mm -hmm. What's next? Mingling with the gas. Excuse me, Mr. Connor. Hate to interrupt. She's still inside.
It's gonna be okay. Local authorities are on. Just try to relax, all right? Hey! We're on TV! You're going on TV now! Earlier reports of a terrorist attack on the Pandala Beach Resort capturing as many as 20 hostages. We have confirmation that this video, uploaded via internet minutes ago, comes from inside the resort. <laughs> century we have watched helplessly as the disease of the western world has spread across our islands now it is your turn to watch we will kill all the hostages in 24 hours if you wish to spare their lives you must pay tribute tribute infidels that's you and me buddy they gotta pay tribute for their crimes that money Ransom. job. Listen, brother, I was never a hero, all right? Okay in a group, part of a team, but something like this? No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Fighting the spread of Western influence on their country? You know what? People are working on getting us out. Okay? We just gotta stay calm and think with clear heads. There's no way for us to keep this quiet. What? Mikhail Shaw, diplomatic advisor. 
on behalf of the Kusan government. Blueprints to the resort. We have the perimeter surrounded. But I will not attack until we know more about the terrorists. That's all right, Commander. I'm taking care of this. Who's in charge? Sir, this is off limits. Please wait over there. No. Somebody's going to talk to me. Now. Wait. Let me. I apologize for that. You know, dealing with military. It's like playing chicken with a brick wall. No offense, of course. What's being done about the hostages? I'm afraid I can't discuss it with you, Mr. Joe. Two days is unacceptable. I will be dead tomorrow. Just make it happen. The money is on its way. Tribute. Yeah, sure. Tribute. Whatever you want to call it. But you touch just one hair of my head. You could kiss it all goodbye. Look, just let us go. The money is on its way. You got what you want. No. I got what I asked for. We're living in paradise long before the great white hope came to our shores to save us from our happiness. You don't know what I want. Thanks, working. Either way, little brother, the message will be sent. It's all falling into place. This is a political disaster. I am the one who convinced my government to allow Khan Industry to purchase the old resort from the local owners. Now I have to negotiate the release of the hostages. I can't believe this is happening. I'm with counter security. Are you sending in troops? Oh, my government is extremely reticent to engage in military action. If they should storm in and the hostages are killed, we could have a, an international incident. And we're still waiting on word from the U.S., which means they're waiting to see how we deal with the problem. So what do you plan to do? I've already done it. Mercenaries. Better trained than most of our soldiers and accustomed to dirty work. Get out. Scott, how are you? Hey, thanks. They're for sale to the highest bidder. Better than letting them die. Hey, Blondie. Nervous or what? Thank you for responding so quickly. Who's that? He's with Carter Securities. Marine Recon. Congratulations. Now, get him out of here. I'm going in with you. Uh huh. Look, I've been inside. I know the layout. Please, sir, just leave it to us. With or without you, I'm going in. You do. I'll consider you an enemy and shoot you on sight. You need to stand down. I'm taking over.
me take it. Can you tell me what they're saying? I don't know. The intruders will be dead? This one's missing. Blondie, they had a traitor, then maybe we have one too.
Calm down, little brother. You took charge. I was trying to help. I was trying to save the hostages. I had to do something. You compromised everything with your help. You are done. Get out of my sight. Tell me what happened. Calm down. Ronnie said there was an American Marine with them. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. But he killed our men. Our men. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Highest bidder. I guess they paid more. Can you please step out? We must make an example! We must make a statement! Kill them all now! Not yet, not yet. Robin. I am really. I am really very sorry. We have to wait for the tribute. Now stay focused. They must pay for this. Yes, they will. They will. They will. Just be patient. Be patient. Small example, brother. You gonna be okay? Oh. Could you please deliver my message? Prove I'm alive and well. I'll make you kill me if I have to. Someone's got to help these people. Well then, brother, you got a real death wish. Maybe. Come on, my office. Take whatever you need. Tell me something. What good are you going to do if you get yourself killed? Two of us together, man. With our backgrounds. No, 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 bro. I already told you, man. Not everybody can be a hero, kid.
Then let me borrow your boat. Wait a minute. Go! 
and stone back in them. I didn't let him do anything. You're in charge now, remember? You let him slip through your fingers? That's your problem. At least somebody's doing something. on the grounds. Rescue party. I don't think so. They're not talking about soldiers or men. They're talking about one person. One? They sent one guy after us? They keep calling him the American. Pronounced him dead. I will cut out his heart! give you a message. He's in the boiler room. He can't go anywhere. Lock it down! Make sure this time he dies.
talk, didn't you? You disappointed me. We've heard from the Americans. They have the tribute. You come with me. We have not harmed you. We have not harmed any more of your people. We have kept our word. Yes. Finalize that transfer. But only after the... Only after the hostages have been released. And more men like me dedicated to the cause. Plus a few other groupies. Hey. Hey. What are you guys doing? Hey, what are you doing? Finishing what we started. These noble volunteers will help us bring down this monstrosity once and for all. You got your money, right? You send your message. This is the message. I helped you. I helped you. You'll make us laugh. You're a worm who thinks he's a crow. You could have done this without me. Finally, Sean. You get something. Exactly. Right. Please. Please. Freedom fighter. No. 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 Like you say in your book, Mr. Connor, why shouldn't I have it all? You disapprove. You've never sacrificed innocence to get the job done. Innocents always die in war. But the goal is to save people. Not kill them to win. You see, you do understand what it means to make a statement. Run! Run it! He's all yours.
hell of a show, huh?